Alright y'all, I'm smiling because Chris was making fun of me in the background yet again. But, got a pro tip here for you. Cooking me up some pork. This stuff's pretty lean. 4 grams of fats and <laughs> stop. 13 grams of uh, protein per serving. So, much leaner than I normally go with. However, I have some Primal Kitchen salad dressing. What am I going to do with this? I'm sauteing, not sauteing, I'm basically like frying the meat in my cast iron skillet with the salad dressing. This stuff has like, they've got several different flavors, but if you put this in your skillet and basically fry with it, it tastes absolutely amazing. It's like a marinade. I cooked some venison last night with it as a marinade. Delicious. Alrighty y'all, I've been kind of at a loss for what's upon this vlog today. I'm sorry I get like that. Whenever I do a whole bunch of computer work, like when I'm just like sucked into the computer all day, it's hard for me to remove myself to like figure out a good vlogging topic. Like today, I spent most of the day, <clears throat> more congested, um, working on like number breakdowns for the, the keto brick, you know, and I've just been like in that zone, that headspace. So it's, I've not really got much great vlog content. However, what I'm going to do to, you know, remedy that situation is we're going to go to Harps, which is our local grocery store right down the road here. And, um, it, I, don't, I don't know where Harps is, is occurring. It's pretty much all in Arkansas for sure, but it's similar to a lot of like just, you know, employee owned, you know, it's similar to Safeway if you have a Safeway, but it's like got employee owned, more like a local style grocer, and it's not like a Walmart or a Sam's Club or a Costco, but it's, it's similar to some kind of grocery store that you probably have in your neighborhood. So we're just gonna do a Harps Keto Grocery Haul. I'm gonna go through and show you everything that would be keto friendly there so that you can you know take that and relate it to what you would have in your neighborhood if you don't have a harps um so yeah and we're also going to try and think of what we're going to cook on tomorrow's keto savage kitchen episode so that is going to be the vlog for today hopefully it's valuable worthwhile content right now we're going to go for a walk so catch you a little bit what's up everybody i'm trashing all the footage that i filmed earlier today and we're just going to do a grocery haul because i didn't like any of the footage that we're doing earlier today so we're gonna go to Harps. We're gonna get a keto grocery haul Harps edition. It's gonna be good. Get ready. All right. So oftentimes in these local grocery stores, you have kind of like these specialty cheese and meat items. This is fresh Parmesan with hot Capricola. I think that's how you pronounce it. But the macros are six grams of fats, one gram of carb, and five grams of protein. So pretty good little snacking option here. All right, so we're lucky enough here to have a whole shelf dedicated to Walden Farms products, which not really natural. I mean, there's quite a few ingredients on here, but I'm a huge fan of Walden Farms, especially as I'm dieting down for a show and my, ma my macros are, are low. Um, the syrups are the best. I particularly like the caramel syrup and the regular syrup. I'll make a keto protein pancake or just a keto pancake, and this syrup tastes just like the real deal. The, uh, the peanut butter is kind of gross. Don't recommend the peanut butter. Um, the jams and jellies, so-so. Most of the salad dressings are actually really, really good. Um, I don't know if they have it here, but they have a, uh, here it is, Italian with sun-dried tomato. This is my favorite one here. And all of the Walden Farms brand stuff is zero calories. There's some trace calories in there, but at the amounts that you're consuming, it's pretty nominal, so it's registered as zero calories. Um, they have a barbecue sauce that's actually really good too, so I'm a fan of all of this stuff. Okay guys, <clears throat> I'd like to fix what Robert said, and this is not like kind of gross and you, we would recommend you not get it. It's absolutely disgusting. It tastes nothing like peanut butter and you feel like you're eating chemicals. But you're addicted to the syrup. But I love the syrup, and the dressings are also really good. So, and so are like the dips. Yeah. It's all good, except for the peanut butter. Do not get it. Alright y'all, so everybody on keto knows about Kerrygold butter. Um, I didn't actually even know the store carried it, so that's kind of cool. This is garlic and herb Kerrygold butter, so obviously you don't want to put this on like a pancake or something, but with a savory meal, it's really freaking delicious. Alright, so the Zevias, they're in a lot of the stores I've talked about, huge fan of those that can like totally satisfy the craving for a, a soft drink. If you look up here, we also have this new Zevia sparkling water, which I've only recently tried. And that's really, really good too. It's not quite as sweet, not as much artificial sweeteners, or no, not artificial sweeteners, not as much stevia as the normal Zevia. So this is really, really tasty. Also, 
Perrier carbonated sparkling water. I've had some people ask me lately if carbonated water is okay on keto, and I think it's totally fine. I've never had any negative repercussions for having carbonated water. If your macros are low and you're hungry more often, carbonated water kind of helps fill you up. So I'm a huge fan of, of that as a, like a uh, a macro hack when your when your calories get low. So totally go for it. Every grocery store has like a, a shelf dedicated to health bars. Um, one of the more popular ones being like a Cliff Bar. These are all crap, okay? None of these are keto friendly. I wouldn't recommend any of them. They're mostly full of sugar. For instance, let's just look at Cliff Bar. So 43 grams of carbohydrates of which only four are fiber. None of these are keto friendly. Wait until the keto brick comes out. In case you're wondering, none of this is keto friendly. Alright, so we're thinking of doing loaded keto stuffed mushrooms for the cooking video tomorrow. So, picking up some portobello mushrooms now. Alright, so this video is kind of more like grocery store specific. Obviously, there's some gonna, there's gonna be some staples in every grocery store, like all your wholesome greens, you know, kale, spinach, all that stuff. But I'm trying to stick with stuff that's specific to the smaller type of grocery stores. Um, with regards to your greens, make sure you get one that does not have a lot of natural sugar in there. Even if it's natural, it does not necessarily mean it's good, like carrots for instance. Carrots have a ton of sugar in there. You don't want to have a lot of carrots on a keto diet. Stick to your darker, leafy greens. Alright, so a lot of these smaller grocery stores have like the dispenser on almond butter, which I'm a huge fan of. And look, look at these, you know, a lot of these have better macros than what you're going to get in a jarred, uh, in a jar of almond butter. Like this has 15 grams of fats, 5 grams of carbs, of which only 1 gram of, is sugar, and then 7 grams of protein. So that's going to be better than what you're going to find in most of the jars, so stick with that. Alright, so I love bacon just as much as the next person. That's one of the, kind of the bragging points of keto. You know, you're on the keto diet, you eat bacon and eggs every day. I've done that myself. However, there's a lot of preservatives in, in bacon and like the sausages, and like the breakfast sausage. So you don't want to make that like your majority of your meals. Um, I'm, in fact, I'm trying to like wean away from it a little bit because it's just, it's not as healthy and natural as, and wholesome as it should be. But if you're in Arkansas, Pettigene bacon is the best bacon. Alright y'all, so this tomato pesto, we got one that's a basil pesto and one that's a tomato pesto. This stuff is amazing. The, the fat source comes from olive oil, not like a canola oil or vegetable oil, so really good quality there. And it's just the flavor, I don't know, it's just amazing. Like this is, I think, one gram of carb of which one is fiber. It's like 16 grams of fat and two grams of protein for this one, this one's pretty similar. But I'll use this in place of tomato sauce for like a, a pizza sauce. Um, that way you're getting much less carbohydrates and the flavor is just, it's just way, way better. And it's in a lot of stores, so get this. All right, so quick little blast from the past here. Potted meats, 52 cents a can. When I was broke and in college, I used to eat this when I was, you know, getting ready for a competition or getting ready to put on some muscle and it's like straight up eating cat food. Not recommended. <laughs> Alright, so I'm a huge fan of sardines uh, on keto. It's just quick and easy. You don't have to have it refrigerated. Most stores don't have the Wild Planet sardines, um, but they might have something even more interesting, which is like this Reese fillets of trout in olive oil. You know, this is perfectly keto friendly. 15 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat. Um, they don't have the, the Wild Plant brand, but this is a really good option here. Alright, so we got two sweeteners here. They're both stevia. We got a liquid stevia and we got a packet stevia. Which one's better? Always opt for the liquid stevia when possible. This is packaged in dextrose to keep it from like binding or caking and whatnot. Dextrose is going to react in the body just like sugar. That's what it is. So go for the liquid stevia. Always check the full ingredient list when getting an artificial sweetener. All right, y'all, this, this, <laughs> this stuff is in every grocery store. It's in Walmart, it's in Harps, it's everywhere. This stuff is like one of my favorite go-to keto foods. It's like um, 90 grams, 90 calories per two squares, 
7 grams of fat, 4 grams of carbs, and 3 of those are fiber. 2 grams of protein. So like if I want to satisfy my sweet tooth, I'll grab a couple squares of this and I'm totally satisfied. Alright y'all, so most of your grocery stores are obviously going to have your steaks, you know, red meat. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up today because it's got a $13.72 price tag on it when it's normally $17.15, probably been sitting down a little bit. But uh, get your red meat, go for your beef. Of your meat sources, you know, you got your, your white meat, you got your pork, chicken, poultry, um, you got your red meat like your beef. Um, the red meats, there's a lot of controversy over red meats, you know, is it good for you, is it bad for you? There's been a lot of science coming out with regard to keto that there's a lot more micronutrients in the red meats than the, the white meats. So I tend to gravitate towards beef over chicken or pork. Alright, so I recently discovered these. I haven't seen them really much before, but they're like a pinwheel of smoked salmon and cream cheese and seven grams of fat, one gram of carbs, and four grams of protein. These things are like perfect little snack bites. Alright, y'all, Halo Top ice cream. I've had a lot of people ask me about Halo Top ice cream. Can you eat it on keto? If you eat it on keto, it's like super, super sloppy, lazy keto. I don't recommend it. It's just got, I mean, let's take a look here. So 16 grams of carbs, seven grams of sugar, five grams of sugar alcohol. It's much better than normal ice cream, but it's still not quality food. So don't look for this as a crutch, you know, eat quality food instead. I cannot stress the importance of looking at the full ingredient list. For instance, sugar-free, uh, cool Whip, you think this is good, right? Look at the back, it says, um, let's see here, it says zero grams of sugar, right? You look at that, you think, oh, that's pretty good. Three grams of carbon, not too much, zero grams of sugar. Then you look at the ingredient list, water, corn syrup, hydrogenated vegetable oil. Look at the ingredients. All right, y'all, so I wanted to end this clip in the cereal aisle because the most anti-keto aisle in the whole grocery store. Don't know why I want to do that, but, uh, Hopefully this video was informative. I want you to look at the ingredient list. I want you to look at the macros. Every grocery store has got keto friendly options, so be mindful of that. Go explore. Like Crystal and I, like literally we go on dates at the grocery store. We get excited when a new grocery store pops up. So we're weird like that. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I cut out the footage from previously. It wasn't worth anything. Hopefully this is more informative. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. We're gonna go train chest right now. Catch y'all later.